Hi everyone and welcome to your yoga practice. So you've woken up and you want to energize yourself, yet you also want a calmness to settle into your mind and body and you want to feel those effects all day. Or perhaps you've had a stressful day and you want a peaceful practice to wind down to. Well, you're in the right place. In just under 20 minutes, you're going to feel all this and more. So roll out your mat and leave all else behind as we breathe in presence and awareness. Don't forget to click and like, and if you're new, tap on subscribe. See you on the mat. Hi everyone, stepping onto the mat, sitting down, slowly rolling back through the spine, quick knee hug, open your knees out to the side in Supta Baddha Konasana, feel the inner thighs softening, arms away from the body about 45 degrees, palms facing the ceiling. If this is uncomfortable with the neck, you can also put a block under your neck or head or a block or blanket under your knees on each side to support your thighs. Focusing on your breathing, arriving onto the four corners of your mat, noticing the rise of the chest on the inhale and the softening down on the exhale, perhaps lengthening out your breath Exhaling all the breath and then inhaling for four, three, two, one. Exhale four, three, two, one. In four, three, two, one. Exhale for four, three, two, one. Keeping the awareness on the breath. Breathing in your own timing, calming and focusing the mind. Have a nice stretch with the hands. You can even take them up and overhead if it feels okay with your body. Otherwise, leave them pressed into the mat, palms upwards. Give your knees a hug slowly into the chest. Great for lower back pain and tightness. Nice squeeze. Roll the circles around one way, knees together. Feeling your lower back connected to the floor. And circle back the other way. Just enjoying the gentle movement. Last hug, maybe knee to nose. Taking your hands out to a T-shape to the side, gently taking both knees over to the right, keeping that left shoulder pressing into the floor, feeling it deep into your glutes, feeling the twist in the midsection, keeping your breath calm, looking right along that left arm. On your next inhale, knees come up and exhale them over to the other side, looking along the right arm. Again, focusing on your breath during the twist. Inhale, knees back to center, cross them over at the ankles, 
Rock and roll two or three times up to balance in Navasana boat pose. Using your core strength, engaging the lower back and lifting your chest. Balancing here, strengthening the hip flexors, making sure your stomach's strong but softer. You can extend the legs out if you'd like or keep them bent and then exhale, roll over the knees and come into a kneeling position. Tucking the toes, making sure all 10 toes are tucked underneath for toe sit. Bringing your weight back onto the balls of the feet. If it's a little too intense, you can place a bolster under the knees if you'd like. Otherwise, begin rolling the wrists in and out, warming up the arms and the wrists, whilst not noticing, hopefully, that you're lengthening the soles of the feet with that connective tissue, lengthening, activating all the meridians in the lower body. Stretching out through the forearms, place your hands down and set up, maybe even giving your feet a little bit of a hit on the floor if that helps relieve some of that intensity and set up on all fours, flat back, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, legs hip width apart. Let's inhale and then as we exhale, push the floor away, belly button to spine. Inhale, cow pose, dropping the belly. Exhale, cat. Pulling the tailbone underneath, tucking. And as you inhale, looking slightly up, squeezing your shoulder blades together. And exhale, push the floor away, pulling the belly button high. Scooping out the back. Pressing belly button to spine, working with your breath. Back to flat back. Quick stretch through the calves, setting up again in all fours. Extend your right leg out back behind you in line with your hip. Test your balance with your left arm raised and do some knee to elbow tucks. As you pull it in, you exhale, pull the belly button to spine. Inhale as you reach out. Exhale to pull in, inhale out. Test your balance. Take your foot and hand out to the side or remain with leg behind and arm stretched out the front. Replace your hand and knee and let's sit back, give our wrists a shake and set up again for the other side. Left leg stretches up behind, engage your core, strong flex in that foot, reaching forward with the right hand, knee to elbow and extend. Exhale in. Inhale to reach long. Working with your inhale and exhale. Then taking your arm and leg out to opposite sides. Really testing your coordination and balance here. Taking it slowly. Trying to keep that leg in line with the hip. Back to all fours. Knees go wide, big toes to touch. Sit your hips back on your heels and reach forward into a wide-legged balasana. Relaxing the forearms into the floor. Stretching out the back. Feeling the belly dropping down. Again, working with your breath. Noticing the calming effect on the body of this pose and you can return back to here at any time throughout this practice.
coming back up. Replace the hands strongly, flat down into the floor, tuck the toes, lift the hips high and press back to downward dog. Working through the feet, heels coming closer towards the floor, keeping the knees slightly softened if you need. Rise up and let's roll through the spine. Rise up, take the weight forward. Just a gentle roll, keeping the knees really bent close to the mat, but not touching the mat. Pressing forward to plank, lower your knees, untuck your toes. Take your body down in one straight line, halfway, and then all the way down to the floor. Hands by the rib cage, cobra pose. Exhale down and inhale. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, relax your shoulders, and exhale down. Coming up in one straight line, tuck the toes, lift the hips high again, back to down dog. Long straight back, inhale, lift right heel to sky, opening up, yawning open the hips. Sending your heel towards your backside, really opening up through the front of the thigh, but keeping your upper body square to the mat. Stretch that foot long and high and replace it to the floor. On your next inhale, left foot rises, strong flex. Bend the knee, heel moves towards the backside. Strong in the arms. Opening up the hips. And release down. Looking forwards between the hands at the end of your exhale. Leaping forward or stepping forward between the hands. Forward fold, then half lift, inhale and exhale down. Reverse dive up, bend your knees, reach high as you inhale, exhale, hands back to heart center. Reaching high again, circling the arms up, slight back bend and dive forwards again. Hands touch the floor or the shins for your half lift and exhale down. Stepping right, left, back to down dog. Inhale, right leg, knee high, step between the hands and lower the back knee and untuck the toe, Anjani Asana. Reach your hands high, engage your core, tuck your backside under and then press forward into the front leg. Feeling a stretch down the left hip flexor, making sure your knee is above your ankle, not pressed over the toes. Back leg is pressed into the floor. Replace the hands, tuck the toe, and rise up to crescent lunge. Pressing down through the feet and the toes of the back foot. Arms by the ears, shoulders relaxed down, core engaged. Replace the hands next to the foot three-legged dog and back to downward dog. Other side. Inhale, left leg rises, step forward between the hands, lower the back knee, Anjani Asana. Top of the back foot presses into the floor, come up, adjust your pelvis for a slight tuck under and then press your weight forwards. Again, watching that knee moving no further forward than the ankle. You may need to step your foot slightly forwards, sinking down into the hips, but not slouching. Replace the hands, tuck the toes, and rise up as you engage your core fully for stability to crescent lunge. Focusing forwards, keeping your eyes on something not moving in front of you, 
taking it possibly a little lower, biceps by the ears. Replace the hands, step back three-legged dog and lower to downward dog. Looking forward, rising up on the toes and leaping forward to the outside of your hands. Yogi squat or malasana. Pressing the elbows into the inner thighs on the inside of your knees. Feet slightly turned out. You're slightly leaning your body forwards and opening your knees out from the pressure of those elbows. If you would like to take your hand down, reaching your right hand high, left hand to mat, opening up the chest further, a very calming yet strengthening and grounding pose. Right hand touches floor, left hand extends high, heart opens even further, taking your gaze up if it's comfortable. Hands return back to prayer, fold forwards, heel toe the feet wider than the hips and lean forwards, grabbing the outside of your ankles, just relaxing down, Heel toe your feet back to hip width apart. Rolling up through the spine, knees soft. Inhale, hands high, exhale to prayer. Moving to the floor, into Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet together and then allowing them to open like pages in a book. Not grabbing hold of your ankles with any pressure, just easing the feet open. Sitting up tall on the tailbones, letting your knees drop out to the side. Great for relieving depression and anxiety and exhaustion. Crossing the legs over, sitting up comfortably. Taking your right hand over your left knee, growing taller with every inhale. Exhale, twisting to the back. Fingertips reaching to the floor behind you. Spine strong and straight. On your next inhale, return to the front and exhale to change and turn to the other side. Strong through both hands. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. Inhale, return to the front. Hands go high and return to prayer. I thank you for joining me in your practice today. I hope you feel nice and calm, and as always, the light in me sees and acknowledges the beautiful light in you. Namaste.